It's a glorious day here at the treehouse. Oh, we got some distance on that one, boys. Oh, welcome back to the channel, y'all. I gotta show you, I gotta show you my special friend right now. Oh, we scurry. This is my big lizard friend. She eats the, uh, she eats the carpenter ants. She eats whatever is living around these trees. Absolutely loves it. She's warming up today. She's feeling nice and, and fresh. Those are called fence lizards. Pretty common here in Texas. They blend in perfectly in oak trees. Scare me all the time. I think they're snakes, but they're really cool creatures. And because it's snake season, what I did is I took some two by fours and I lifted my wood pile off the ground in hopes that we get some less snakes around the, the feet. We're going bass fishing today, y'all. That's what we're doing. Got to too nice of a day. OSG is painting the deck right now. There's always a DIY project. You're always nesting. Yeah. This is what happens when I leave. When I when I leave, when I go fishing and the kids are at school today, things things start happening. She's a worker bee. Love to see it. Glad I married that special lady. We're gonna take out the the crispy today. Almost said golden crispy. We're gonna take out the crispy today. Fresh off a crappie successful run. It's just one of those perfect days where you're like, I, 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 whatever, I, whatever I got going on, put it on pause, we're heading to the lake. This is like what my wife would describe as the perfect day in the spring. Just clear blue burger, 80 degrees. Doesn't mean the bass are going by. Cause they usually do not like these type of conditions but we could find some on the beds the greatest thing about the no wind thing i could run this boat i could run this boat at like 25 mile an hour we can get going i actually bonded with this boat a little bit i do i do like it but man i am missing a big bass boat for all that you are curious like are you gonna get another boat I, i'm shopping I don't know if you guys have looked at the price of boats, but they are pretty high. There's just a lot of great ones on the market. So my plan is to really take my time and get exactly what I want and uh, just try to build it the way, the exact way that I want it instead of buying something, you know, just in the itch of spring and getting something that doesn't have all the accessories or everything that I want. So. Yeah, just basically built my ultimate boat. I'm gonna take my time with it. And on these days like today where I can rip the crispy, I'm gonna try to catch a double D. So, let's get after it, y'all. Okay, here's what I'm seeing. Seen the lake being low, a lot of docks. I'm gonna tie on a jig. I'm gonna get my jig up under those docks. And see what wants to come grab it. All right, for the love of what is all good and holy, please tell me I brought my jig box. Yes, I did, ladies and gentlemen. Do I have a 3 8 ouncer, possibly? Are these all halfies? That's a three eighths already with a trailer. So if you guys missed my video on uh, jig trailers with the underwater look at jig trailers, that'll be linked here where you can watch, watch the action. Look at my uh, top three trailers, why I use them, why I like them. Uh, feeling kind of like a bug day. Bug is my favorite. I'm actually gonna take I'm gonna take this grub off. And I'm gonna see if I can find <laughs> my favorite color of all time. Natural. Works everywhere. So what's cool about these docks right now is there's a lot of room up underneath them. I can cast. Don't have to necessarily just skip up under there. I mean, we got three to five foot on these docks. Ooh, I thought I just felt a bite right there. So just a ton of room. 
Now, I haven't done dock fishing in a while, but during the spawn, docks can be very good. Not just the dock, but the entire walkway, everything, all of it. Especially on a lake like this that doesn't have any vegetation. And I'm throwing the, uh, the juicy jig, which is a jig that you can drag as well as, you know, pitch it around cover. It's my favorite just go-to all around jig to throw. And I'm using black and blue because this water is just real stained. <clears throat> all right, I see a transition on the bank. Go into some rocks I like that. I just fast forwarded to this dock here because this rocky transition on the bank, it's on a point and it's leading into a cove that could have some spawners. I got a big one. Oh my gosh, I just lifted up and had that fish. Barely lifted up. Oh god, look at him. Black and blue, tried and true, baby. Should we boat flip him in the crispy? Five pounders? Yeah, get a crispy boat flip. There we go. <laughs> That's what's under there that'll eat a jig, folks. That was so weird, y'all. That was almost like a fish was on a bed or something. They just picked it up and sat there, and it just kind of felt squishy. First fish of the day, and it is a dandy, y'all. That's probably five pounds, maybe just under five pounds, but it's a toad. See you, buddy. Heck yeah, y'all, I've been itching for a jig bite for a minute. A little spring jig bite. So that was uh, that was one where it wasn't a, a big hit. And I'll be honest with you, the my biggest bass ever, which is uh, 11 pounds, four ounces, I caught it on this same deal right here. It was, a, it was either three eighths or a half, I can't remember. It was in March, we're in April now, but I was dragging it on a lead-in bank to a spawning area. And the fish picked it up and was just moving, like my line was just moving, just like that one. I was like, am I like hung on the end of the dock? And I just kind of pulled and pulled up and it started pulling back down. So this combo though, it's unbeatable. Bandito bug with the juicy jig, black and blue with natural, black and blue, green pumpkin. You pick the color, but that right there is, it's undeniable. Catch is good ones. I'm gonna keep throwing it. I may only get a couple bites, but they're gonna be good ones like that, I think. You know, how do you, when do you decide to throw a jig? I feel like that's a pretty good question. And, you know, like, why wouldn't you just throw a Texas rig? For me, one of the situations that triggers me to pick up a jig over the Texas rig is a place that doesn't really have much grass at all, or no grass. And yeah, you can totally punch jigs in grass, and obviously a swim jig in grass is amazing, but what I'm, what I'm talking about just kind of flipping around and, and dragging a jig, I don't want grass. Number one, it just snags up on your bait, 
it becomes a pain, you know, picking all that stuff off. And also the jig just doesn't come through it very well. So Texas rig slides through it really nice, but a, a jig just has a bigger presence. And when you're fishing this like stained water like this with no grass, it, it helps a lot of times to have a bigger presence. That skirt flares out, it's just a bigger profile. And uh, this is just one of those lakes. It's, it's I, I call it a jig lake. When I see it, it's like jig and crankbait. Like a lot of the old school style baits will work great on lakes like this that have that stained dirty water, a lot of docks, maybe has a little timber. It's got brush, but it doesn't have that grass. It's just very jiggy. Fishing a jig and cover like this or a Texas rig as well, there's something almost therapeutic about that to me. And you know, some people don't even like to like the mystery anymore of fishing. They like to really know. They like to turn on the electronics and just know. Like, don't even cast unless you know. And I, if you're fishing tournaments, I guess you pretty much have to. Since I don't, I don't fish any big tournaments anymore. I just really enjoy fishing, and I can kind of craft the way I like to fish to my liking so that I enjoy it and I enjoy this. I enjoy the mystery of just throwing back there. I got the water temperature, I got the depth, and I'm just throwing into something where I, 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 I haven't graphed a fish under there. I don't know if there's a fish under there. I'm just using my fishing knowledge, educated guess, and most importantly, my rod. You know, really feeling around in there. And I just really enjoy that. It probably means I would, uh, I would just get crushed in a tournament, but I, <laughs> I enjoy the fish that I catch. That that's that mystery. That there's something about it, just captivating. I think it's part of the essence of of fishing that I still really enjoy. There's one. Oh my god, he freaking walloped it. Mm. Oh man. 30 minutes without a bite. I wanted that one. There's like an eight pounder spawning over here. Okay, I've got to tie myself up right here. I'm gonna say this fish is between six and eight pounds. If we can be really sneaky, we might be able to catch this fish. It's a good fish, but there's a lot of problems with it. The main one being it is around some nasty stuff. Metal railway, metal posts, rusted metal posts. I'm a little closer than I wanna be, but this fish looks to be sticking to its spot. All right, let's see what happens. This fish off. This fish is gonna see me for sure. I'm throw way past it. Oh my god. Oh yeah, the fish just took off immediately. There's another one right here in front of me though.
fish just got it. Oh, I missed it. Oh my god, the fish is better than I thought. It's like a four pounder. <laughs> Broke it off. It's nasty back here. It's crazy. There's like this one big female. When she comes around, these males get way more aggressive. This, this one's about to eat. There it come. I didn't even see it. This guy back there just broke off a big one. I'm going to try not to do that. I'm trying to catch the closest one first. I'm on a power line. Oh, no. Just fell. Oh, it's going. Come here, baby. Don't make a disturbance. There we go. Four pounder. Oh, on the jig. God, what a healthy fish, man. Healthy, healthy fish. That fish is bigger than I thought. Oh yeah, guys. We're gonna let this fish go right here where we caught it. Get back to doing your bedding, guarding your fry, whatever you're doing. I love it. Keep after it. I love the tenacity. That big one's still there. She's waiting on me. Let's see if we can get another one, guys. That's two great fish on a jig. What I love about it is when you stick them, you got them. That's what's so great about that jig. And I love the juicy for fishing in beds too, because the flat head on the bottom it will stand up. So whatever you're putting on the back, a craw or a bug, it makes that little defensive position. And I actually switched to a crack and crawl, junior crack and crawl right there. Just great bed fishing by itself. Put it on the back of the jig and it just, it's got a little bit more bulk to it. <laughs> See if we can get the big girl. Oh yeah, she's still there. Don't know if she's gonna bite, but she is there. And there's another male about that same size that I just caught. It's with her. There's just a lot of, a lot of activity in here. Still, I don't know where this big one went. I think she's just in her, her holding position. It's what I like to call it her hiding spot. My cast, I gotta be very careful. I gotta slide it up under that dock. He's on it. Try to get it a little closer to her and see what she does. Had a glide bait or something, that would be good. Oh, he's just rolling on it. He's got it. Oh my god, she picked it up. Don't, nope, nope. Don't, nope, nope. Oh my god, she picked it up somehow. Get around that, get around that post. There you go. Get around that post, come here, baby. Holy cow, that was insane. She came out of nowhere, and he's with her. Another big one with her. 
Oh my god, that jig is gone. That was one of the craziest bed moments of my life, guys. Oh my gosh, look at that. Holy crap. That jig is gone. Oh my god. That is insane, y'all. What the heck just happened? Oh my gosh, that's a fist mouth. Look at that. Golly. That male came after it. He had it. He actually had it. And I was shaking him off. And I was just pulling. I wasn't setting the hook. When he spit it out, she came over and absolutely thrashed it, guys. I got so lucky getting that fish out of there with all of that nasty stuff. Oh my God, that's amazing. What a catch, guys. All right, guys, let's let this fish go. Pretty awesome fish. Back to the bed. What a long-lipped Sally that is. Oh, that is so cool. What an incredible stroke of luck that was, y'all. I don't know how far up my line is frayed. The male had it. I was literally shaking off the male. And he, and he spit it out, and she came over and grabbed it out of nowhere. There was a guy that just came by. He said, you beat me to her. All that and it was apparently a tough fish to and catch. Dropped it and, she and I agree. It I really lovely. didn't think that that fish was going to bite. It never moved. It was just sitting there. You just never know. With betting fish, every fish is different, just like every human is different. That's what makes us special. And that's what makes the LMB special. One thing that's kind of cool about a jig that you don't really think about either is uh, the weed guard will almost act like a, a keeper for when you hook fish because they got to get around that weed guard as well. So if they try to get it out, that weed guard can sometimes keep them pinned too. So it's one of my, when I see a big one on a bed, it's one of my favorite baits to throw because I'm going to stick them and I'm most likely going to keep them on. And it's got a big strong hook so you could put some pressure on them. All right, I don't know if he's still here, but he definitely looked bigger than I thought. He might have got, I think it was him that swam off with the female. Nope, he's still there. There could have been another fish with her. He doesn't look quite as big. Here we go with the post again. Get around. There we are. Oh, that is not the same fish that I saw. Oh. It's a nice solid male, but that is not the one that I saw earlier with the female. Great fish. We'll put him back. Go back to bedding, buddy. It's three fish literally right here. We still got another 40 yards. Let's slide on down and see if there's any more. Look at that pair right there. Oh, where's the big one? These big bass love these backs of these little marina coves this time of year. It's a nice protected area to spawn. And it's got bluegill. It's a lot of good things. I think I'm pretty sure that's a crappie sitting there. That is a big one right there. If this is a bass, this is a good one. Yep, that's a bass. All right, we're gonna tie up hole here Our 
post to our pole. Here we go, and we'll try to catch this one. It's good. I think it's four or five pounds, guys. It's another good one. Oh yeah. It's oh god, it's getting angry. I think there's a giant next to it. There's a giant female just hanging. I'm looking at the male and it's big. He got it. Picked it up. Can only see her shadow, but she is huge. I don't know how to get her. Oh my God, she's going in the bed now. She's going in the bed now. Oh, he went down on it. Oh my God, he is super aggressive. I just see a long shadow off to the left and she's probably six to eight pounds. Oh my gosh, guys, my heart's racing. It's a good one. Oh, I'm having palpitations right now. I'm gonna try bumping her, see what she does. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Oh my God, she bumped it. She bumped it, she's a giant. That fish may be over 10. I just saw it roll. Oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna retie. That fish is a giant. <sighs> Hands are shaking. I'm gonna retie. This fish is just so big. The, the male is probably like four pounds. She's huge. I mean, definitely eight plus. She's just hanging there, but it could end up being like the last one where she just comes over and grabs it all of a sudden. I don't know. <sighs> Fresh junior crack and craw going on the jig. I love bass fishing, like especially sight fishing. It's so awesome. I love crappie, but crappie don't make me shake this bad. Oh, I'm shaking. It's all over it. He's bigger than I thought. That's the male. She's not chasing him. Come here. Come here. God, you're a beautiful fish. Oh, yes. That's the male. <laughs> the female's big. She's big. I'm gonna let him go right away. I feel bad because he, he mouthed at it like seven, 17 times. I could have hooked him earlier, but I was wanting the female to come over. Let him go. Let him grow. See you, buddy. He's gone. Whew. Let me get back in there quick and see if she'll eat. still see her hanging around but she's not going in sometimes you catch the male the female will charge right in there and just take over she'll take control and sometimes when you remove the male they just they don't want anything to do with it it really depends on the fish depends on the pair depends on their romance i don't know but i don't think she's gonna buy it i do want to just creep in there see if there's any last one but i mean gosh we've probably caught 15 pounds three fish right in here all thanks to Mr. Juicy right here. God, I love fishing the jig. It's so good. Got pretty fortunate going into a little marina area and finding some fish that were actually paired up. Some were paired up on beds and we were able to get most of them. One that I couldn't catch was big. We'll leave her there, let her do her thing, spawn have a good spring. And it was actually advantageous today having the crispy collector because I was able to get up in a spot that was really nasty and go all the way up in there and, and find some fish. Those little pockets that are uh, protected from waves for boats and everything like that, that dock in there, usually ends up protecting the fish for the spawn and it's a pretty good little area. Plus they warm up pretty quick. 
and there's just always bluegill and all that kind of stuff in there. So, so I hope you guys took something away from today. Feels good to crack some good fish. I think we had right at 20 pounds or over 20 pounds. So a pretty good dangle out here for the afternoon. And hey, April is just an awesome month to fish on the bank. So make sure you're getting out there. Give them a sniff for me. And as always, guys, if you want to pick up any of the juicy jigs or anything else at GuggenSquad.com, you can use my promo code LFG. I really do. I know I've talked about the jigs a ton today, but I love these. Uh, the paint jobs on them are great. They're hand-tied skirts. Uh, it's big fish approved. It's They're just a great jig. Thank you guys for tuning in today. If you want to stay tuned for more catching, doing a little cooking, crappie, bass, all the above, keep it locked right here. Subscribe to the channel, guys. Smash that like button for big spring bass. I'll catch you on the next one.